We are making fresh hand pulled noodles with a lobster broth. It is a one pot shoot and match today. So we're gonna start and we're gonna get our aromatics going. We're gonna start off straight away. We're going to slice some onions and some celery to start to be the flavor bases of our broth. Half an onion. So we're just gonna slice this guy up. Okay. We want them a little thick, a little chunky, because that gives us texture and also flavor. So, but get your onions sliced, put it right in your pot. So these sort of tough wide ends, we're gonna cut off the bottom. So long, thin slices. See what I've got going on here? That motion of the ocean. These guys, right in your pot as well. We want a neutrally flavored oil. So we just give this a little bit of a squeeze. I have ginger. You could take a spoon and just scrape off the skin on the outside. This guy is a cheesecloth. What we're gonna do is make what's called a sachet. I'm just gonna cut into fairly thick coins. Coriander seeds, very fresh and sort of bright and citrusy. So we're gonna put that in there, a tablespoon. Two cloves of garlic and right in our sachet. So now we take some string, we go around. I'm leaving a tail on this for easy removal. I am putting in a quart of chicken stock, okay? A quart of water as well. My little sachet action going. So we're gonna add a few more things to this. Five spice powder. And we are going to add soy sauce, shouting wine. So this smells very much like sherry, tomato paste, which will help give our soup a little bit of body. All right. Oh, no. ah! oh, so our lobster, look at this. Like when you buy lobsters, you want lobsters that are really active. You want them alive. And when we do this, you guys commit to it. Get it right in there. Don't freak out. Yeah, get it in there. All right, and put a, a lid on it. We're gonna cook this for six minutes. It will not be cooked all the way. It will be cooked enough to get it out of the shell, and then we'll finish cooking it in that soup. Chinese broccoli. For these, we want the leaves, but we also want some of the stems. These are really nice and crunchy, and we don't need a whole lot of these, but you know, like three or four of those. You don't need a lot. My scallion, let's just get that cut. On the bias, let's just get some pretty cilantro leaves picked. All right. So yes, lobsters turn red when they're cooked. I have my soup that's still at a crazy rolling boil and I want to concentrate this soup. So now I'm gonna turn this guy way down. I wanna see a, a simmer. Now, our lobster's really hot. So I would recommend just like break the claws off, break it apart so it will start to cool off a little bit faster. So we're gonna take our lobster tail. On the underneath where the legs are, we're gonna take our shears and we are just going to cut through the shell. So we're just trying to break it open. And so I would recommend using a side towel for this. So we just really wanna break it open. Look at that. This guy, our claw, take the back of the knife, not the sharp side. Use a side towel, gonna give it a little whack. Please watch. All right. Just trying to break the shell open a little bit. So you start to pull like this. All right, we're gonna break it apart. Come on. Okay, so. Now take your scissors carefully because we want to see the claws in their whole state or as whole as you can because it looks good, right? It's kind of show-stopping. Now, one more time. We'll hold this guy like this. Take the back of your knife. Give it a whack. You're just trying to break the shell so you can break it open. Yeah! 
Bam! Right, see, I got it out with this cartilage that came out and this little piece, it's sort of like the thumb attached. Yes. Go and wiggle the rest of it out. All right, this is like what we're looking for here, okay? This little part right here is called the knuckle. And if you ask chefs, this is the best bite of the lobster. It's like this little nugget of meat that you have in there. For these guys, I like to take my shears. You don't wanna cut into the meat, but we're just trying to break open the shell. You can pull out this little knuckle and it's like, this lovely little sort of nugget. All right, and then we just open up the rest of the way and pull out these pieces. All right, so here we go, one more time. And break it apart. There's the knuckle. There we go. I'm gonna leave the claws whole. I'm going to cut the tail in half the long way. You know what, I'm gonna leave those in sort of biggish pieces like that so that I can pick it up and it shows me that it's a whole lobster tail. Nice big pieces of lobster. And guess what time it is? Noodle time! So Chef Victor can come out and he is going to demonstrate the noodles. Hello. Hi. Here we go. Yay, nice to thank see you, you guys for coming. Again. All right, we're so excited to see this. This smells delicious. Let's see what we got going on. Mm. All right, so we're gonna get our surface here greased up. Just like this. All right, so we got a well-greased surface here. And again, big pointer here. We're gonna get our hands greasier than the counter. So we do already have our dough in this kind of log shape. Now we're gonna pull these noodles. And we got an active flame here, so let's uh, be careful working around this live fire. I like this bounce, bounce, bounce oh, situation. <laughs> yeah, right. there we go. Oh, uh, yeah, you know, aim for uh, a lengthy noodle. Okay, all right, so why don't you guys come up here and watch this. Sorry, I'm just gonna grab a lot of it. And watch everything that's happening here. All right, we're gonna do another one here. <laughs> okay, and right, once so your noodles are done, right in your broth. This hot boiling broth. These noodles are very well hydrated, so they're, they're not gonna take long to cook. So let's throw our lobster right back in there, and we're gonna plate. Thank you, Chad. Thank you. Thanks again, wonderful. thank you. I have to say, that's really fun. All right. So, look at what we have here. Lay them down, and kind of give them a little twist as you're just laying them down because that will kind of twist everybody all together. Look at our Chinese broccoli. We want to find our lobster, so look what I can do. All right, so we're gonna lay that, all this stuff, right on top of the noodles. So now we need the soupy part. Now all of our garnishes that we have, right? Our bean sprouts, we're gonna nestle those right in there. Some scallions, give it a nice little sprinky dink all over the place. And a few cilantro leaves just kind of strewn about. This stuff is really spicy, but just a few little drops of these around. Yes. All right, what do you think? You guys ready to try? Yes. All right. <laughs> 